Hey survivors, Tin Pony here. A um, couple more things I found out about beacons that you might be interested to know. We're out here on the water on the boat, and I put a post in the seafloor out here. Gonna put on a beacon, dress her up. Should be a boat in yellow, white, ivory ivory boat and we'll swim out to that post and see what our beacon says okay we'll open the log book and it says we're 60 meters away, which is what we would expect. Everything's hunky-dory and believable so far. We come back to the boat. Hop on. And snuggle right up to the beacon. Get right up next to her. And zero meters, she says we're too close. So, let's take her for a ride over to that post and see what, what our beacon says. See how close we can get. Ooh! You ain't rubbing paint you're not racing so we'd expect this to be pretty close to zero but it says 64 meters now this beacon thinks it's 64 meters from where it started it's not measuring where we're at let's get right up close to it and it says 63 meters. So it is measuring us, but it's also measuring how far it moved. Um, I guess the lesson here is you can still see it. You can still see the icon, but don't trust the distance if you've got a beacon on your boat or car and you leave it there. Probably best to take it off when you leave your car or your boat. And then just before you get off of your car or boat, put a meter on it. Okay, so we're at zero meters. Let's see if she notices we're gone. We're going to swim as close to straight down as we can here. Yeah, it should be within a meter or a couple meters. 27 meters. So, I guess... Beacons also measure depth and altitude. Something else interesting about them, if you can open your logbook, it shows you the movement. It shows you how much closer or further away you're getting. So, just some interesting things I thought should be pointed out. Don't put a beacon on your boat or car until you're ready to leave it and find it again. This is Tin Pony. Thanks for watching.